everyone, Monica Social here. Happy Friday. I hope you guys are all enjoying your Friday. I'm super excited. Today I have a guest coming on my Instagram Live. Um, so I'm just going to be inviting her in here in just a minute. I see she's on. I'm just going to um, lovely guest in right now. Just one moment. So I'm going to have a sip of my coffee. And she should be coming in. I know a few people are just tuning in. Hello. Hey, how are you? How are you? That worked really well. Nice and quick. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta like when technology works. Yeah, technology is at its best these days for each and every one of us, which is great. I had to actually, I had to actually up my uh, internet speed because I wanted to make sure it was the highest for doing all these zooms and lives. <laughs> Uh, so I don't blame you. Yeah, so I know some people are just getting introduced to um, the live right now. I'm super excited. I have a wonderful guest on my live today. Um, with further ado, I'm going to let her in introduce herself. Hi, everybody. My name is Nikita Waterman. I'm a branding consultant and copywriter here in Edmonton, Alberta. I've been doing this for about six years. Uh, I don't really look at it as a business. It's really a lifestyle to me. I truly love uh, just coming up with strategy and content and helping companies get from A to B, and that's pretty much it in a, in a nutshell. Yeah, and you know what? I'm going to put you on the spot. When did we first meet? A few years ago now? I think about two years ago at an event here in Edmonton. Yeah, I think it was one of the Yank Boss Babe events or something, one of the networking events. Um, because just like myself, I know that you also go to a lot of events um, and try to be involved with a lot of the, the women entrepreneur groups in Edmonton. So, so our topic today is um, a very, I guess, misunderstood topic um, about branding on social media. Um, so if you guys do have any questions while we are speaking, make sure that you leave them below in the comments and we'll try to answer them as we go. Um, but we just want to keep it light, airy, and um, easygoing conversation. So I guess um, with, we'll just get right started. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of ask questions, and, and you can ask me questions back too. Um, but let's start with what, I guess, branding really means or what it actually stands for on social media. It is different branding than branding with a guideline and your actual graphics and your your, let's say your logo and your, all that stuff. Social media branding is a little bit different, so I'm going to let you take take it from there. We'll get started on what it means. Absolutely. So uh, branding to me is just really a, a fancy name for your reputation. It's something that you can't necessarily control, but I always tell people you can control the message. Um, and you can do that by inspiring people, educating people, and entertaining people about what you do every day. People, especially here on Instagram, they want to see the real life version of who you are and not necessarily overexposing your personal mm -hmm. life, but wanting to solve their problems. So I tell people again, Instagram is like, treat it like your website. When they come on, they need to see who you are, where you are, what you do for them. You pretty much have to be self-serving and just let your audience know who exactly. you are. Exactly. So I'm always teaching everybody. Um, I know you've come to some of my workshops. So I always say that branding is a little bit more. Of course, it is. Part of your branding is obviously your logo, your branding guideline, but there's so much more involved with your presence on social media. Um, just like we're doing right now, we're coming live, we're showing people who we are behind the scenes. Um, this is more about what branding is on social media. It's showing up, um, showing how your personality is different from competition. Again, I feel like that is very important um, is standing out of the crowd um, and then building people so that they know, okay, she has a sense of humor. Oh, she likes to do, you know, showing a little bit more. Um, but again, always keeping it somewhat professional is the key that I'm always saying to people that you don't necessarily want to show too much of your personal life. You want to show little bits and pieces, but keep things professional. Um, and yeah, people just want to see who the, the owner is behind the business um, instead of always just pitching, pitching their services or their sales. 
stuff like that. People like to see, um, like yourself, you do an amazing job with all your videos um, and showing your personality now with bringing things on like TikTok, you can really show. So tell us how, because um, I'm, 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 I'm on TikTok, you're on TikTok. Um, so let's talk a little bit about how that has been kind of fun um, with bringing more of your personality to, uh, to light. Absolutely. Uh, TikTok to me was an enigma. It was very confusing. I signed up the second week of February. I did some videos thinking I could take some stories from Instagram and put it on my TikTok and boy did it flop. Yeah. And so what I did, I got I got hesitant. So I, I took a step back and I said, I'm just going to kind of every Friday, Saturday, dedicate an hour, watch and see what these Gen Zs are doing, these entrepreneurs are doing and kind of get an understanding of my flow. I started off with two to three topics, branding, marketing, and just social media. And then I started looking in the back end of my analytics to see what are they, what is my audience watching. Um, as I started to get into the vibe and the, to the intricacies of things, I started to do, hey, my dealings. I started to do um, like challenges, but incorporating what I do best. I started to um, pretty much do like five top things and things of that nature. And then I realized there were really two strong key set uh, topics that were really working for me. Um, now I'm getting into more of like the skits, like I'll just kind of like pretend I'm a customer or a potential customer and then I'll stop the camera and then I'm, I'm me kind of giving feedback in a respectful way. And I'm just really trying to go, in, go into it entertainment, I'm trying to educate, and as you know, Monica, not everybody uh, understands in a video, not everybody likes reading, some people have to laugh, some people have to smile, some people have to feel connected emotionally to be like, wow, that Monica or that Makita, there's something about this one, Yeah, you know? and that's honestly so, it, is, is you're showing your personality, I like your little dancing videos, but the, you know, it's showing people your personality, and then that's what I've been doing on TikTok is... Yes, I danced professional hip hop for how many years? Like, I gotta, maybe this is when I show people that, you know, I like to have fun and, da and I love to dance. And so I'm trying to take more visuals of myself and more fun and jokes. And I think people are really going to, those are the people that are going to grow on um, TikTok is people that are making it more fun because TikTok is supposed to be fun, light, showing people a little bit more of uh, your personality. Um, and we can be sillier on TikTok, whereas in Instagram, you know, I'm always keeping it more like this, professional, um, but I still always have those uh, one little, those little quirky jokes every now and again, even while I'm doing my live. So let's talk a little bit more, too, about, um, I guess, ways. Um, like if somebody is, let's say, introverted, and they're not sure how to start doing something like, I'm, you know, I've been doing Instagram Lives and you do Instagram Lives. What's something that somebody could do just to start with showing their branding presence on social media, whether it is TikTok, Instagram, or LinkedIn? Absolutely. Well, I'm introverted, uh, whether people believe it or not. I really started out with just doing text posts and doing selfies of myself. As you know, Monica, I'd go to events, sometimes we'd cross paths, and i just take a selfie and then kind of talk about how I felt during the event, and then I brought it back to business. Um, if you're a great writer, jump on blogging, uh, just do text posts on LinkedIn with little emojis and a call to action. What do you guys think? Tag people who are pretty active on LinkedIn to get the conversation going. Um, and I find that when I tag people or just when I'm like consistently kind of speaking to one direct person on all of my social media platforms, I have videos that trend and I have conversations that go on and if people are not commenting and liking, they come into the DMs. So it goes down in the DMs, everybody. Um, you'd be surprised. You could post something and you're like, okay, I have a thousand people that I'm following, but why are only like 50 people a day? And then as time goes by, people that have not engaged with your content, they're in your DM messages. So just um, do what makes you feel comfortable. Uh, the only reason I can get on TikTok and go and do these little dance things and educate at the same time is because I had to... I had to say to myself, this is the new age of marketing. If I don't get in front of the camera, I'm going to have to pay a model or a spokesperson, and how much is that going to cost? Yeah. 
but it's free if I get in front of the camera. So, yeah. yeah. And, and, and then honestly, like for myself, obviously, I'm an extrovert. This is, I grew up, uh, well, singing and dancing and always performing. So to me, it's very easy. So I have to go into the 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 thinking behind an introvert and uh, when I'm working with my clients or anything like that is I just say get your toes wet like practice a few times with doing this before going live uh, once you do it a few times you'll find that really this doesn't have to be rehearsed like you know you can stop and take a sip of your coffee and twirl your hair and it doesn't have to be like you don't have to be stiff and you know like it's it's live and that's the beautiful thing about it and if you stumble on your words you stumble on your words that does not mean anything right um so that's kind of what i would tell people that they have to step outside of their comfort zone and then they'll see that it'll really benefit their social media presence because you can't always just be posting text and sales and stuff like that, at the end of the day, people want to see who you are as a business owner so they can connect and maybe say, hey, maybe I should message her and see what her services are. It's just, you know, people people want to know who you are and how the heck you got where you are. That's that's what I get, get asked the most now is, okay, so how did you get where you are today? And I would say the biggest thing that I've, I've gotten out of is doing these lives. I've done these lives now for four years come September, um, and people watch them in the reef, and people know that I'm going to have them every kind of, every two weeks or whatever, once a month. So um, what would you say, um, I'm trying to think what I, what, what my neck, I just got something that came on there. What would you say um, your biggest advice would be, um, I don't know, for somebody starting on their Instagram with branding? That's a good question. I say incorporate videos and uh, text messages. I know selfies, they do very well. Uh, videos do very well. Uh, my TikTok videos, I get way more engagement and way more views on it. I think one of my uh, TikTok videos had over uh, about 900 views within 48 hours. I can't get that kind of reach just with my educational videos right. alone. Um, try to figure out your audience. If you know your customers, what is their problem? Solve it in each and every piece of content that you share. And maybe every once in a while, maybe twice a week, you share a little personal moment of yourself. Um, and then if you're not comfortable with getting in front of a camera, uh, if you have like Wix.com or maybe some of these free apps, you can literally do graphics with some music and then at the last frame, put your website, put your name. There's no call to action, just so people who know who you are. So just take advantage of the video. I, I, I don't know how the algorithm works. Maybe you can explain this here on Instagram. But I, my, my account is skyrocketing because I do videos every single day on Instagram. So you've got it right. So videos are um, basically shot up. Obviously, what we're doing right now is very high for the algorithm because everybody knows we're live right now. And then it tells everybody, so then you you have more exposure. So again, you have more exposure when you do a video because you're going to have more people want to click and watch it, whereas then everybody has a graphic post. So they're just going to keep going by. It doesn't grab their attention as much. Um, also, when we're done this live, a beautiful thing now is that now this goes to Instagram TV, and then it goes on to my actual Instagram post. And so it almost is getting double or triple the exposure after this live if you utilize it and repurpose it um, to go on to your Instagram TV so people can watch it um, and whenever they can. And they can go back to it a month later, a year later, and see kind of how you've, how you've progressed with your videos and your presence. Um, and they might see that you've become more out there and you've become, now I'm interviewing people on my Instagram Live, which I never did before. Um, and I'm finding the feedback has been very positive. People like that I'm bringing somebody else on because I've exhausted just me. You know, everybody now has seen me a lot and knows what about me and now I need to have other people. So quickly before we get off for today, do you want to tell um, everybody about your services and your business? 
Absolutely. Um, so my handle is YEG Writer. I'll see if I can type it in for you guys. Yeah, and I, I'll put um, it in when I put it on Instagram TV. I'll, I'll do all the pay again. Awesome. Awesome. So pretty much I am a copywriter. I'm a branding consultant. I've been helping companies and individuals with website content, uh, content marketing, social media strategy, branding, rebranding, and just really trying to help people get more uh, eyes on their content online and just get more exposure internationally or locally. Yeah, and my website is uh, freelancewriteredmonton.com. Okay. And you, you also help people with their blogs or website? Yes, uh, I do blogs, I do website content, business plans, marketing plans. I help people with uh, technical writing, like manuals for IT, any kind of writing, as long as it's like business or content marketing, yeah. I can help you guys yeah. out. With that. And a little bit, a little, uh, little shout out there, you have had a lot of experience and many years of professional writing. So, you know, I even, I even know now a little bit more about you yourself. So it's amazing what you've done um, over the years and your experience. Um, so it's important that people know that as well, right? Like you are a professional writer um, and they can come to you for anything um, that they might just need to brush up on, even if it's just a, a, a bio that they want to brush up on. Um, it's always good to have a good bio. So if you're going to be in newsletters or people's articles, that you have a good bio about yourself. Um, very important. Um, do you have any other questions or anything else you want to um, I just tell everybody, um, lean into social media. It's really, it's the new TV advertisement. It's the new radio advertisement. It's the new billboard. I'm not looking at billboards anymore. I don't have time to even look at magazine ads. I swipe right through it. If you want to be seen, if you want to build an online community, if you want to rise above your situation, even if you're an employee, get on LinkedIn, get on Instagram, show people who you are, what you do, solve people's problems, entertain them, educate. I'm tr telling you, you probably will find, if you're unemployed right now, you'll probably find a job way more faster by putting content out there in the World Wide Web than applying because millions of people are out of work or their businesses have failed. So here's an ample opportunity. And the last thing is there's a lot of companies that are cutting back on advertising. This is your opportunity to put $20 on Facebook and see where it goes, $100 on LinkedIn and see what yeah. happens. While the big companies are cutting back, jump into social media, lean into it, and just find your space and your, your voice, and it will work out, and be patient. That's you got important. it. You know my background. I used to do all the traditional and social media for um, big uh, land and home builders in Edmonton. Um, and the biggest thing is that, yes, I worked with Patterson and I worked with all those big um, companies, but the thing about it is, is those traditional ways are really not having much return on investment as much as showing up on Instagram and being authentic and showing people your branding, which is you. So. Thank you so much for coming on today, um, and I hope I have you again soon, and we'll have another amazing topic. So I hope you have a good rest of your Friday, and thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Please give me feedback. Let me know if you want me to have another person come on or a discussion, um, and I love to hear from everybody. Have a great Friday, and enjoy your weekend.